Hi friends, and welcome to Nona Kids Online. My name is Bonnie, the director of Anona Kids, and I am so glad you're here. In just a moment, you will get to watch our Anona Kids Live Sunday morning experience with worship, a Bible story, an important message, and so much more. This is what we do here at Anona Kids every week. If you are doing church from home, that is awesome. I hope that we will see you someday soon in Anona Kids. Until then, you can click the link below to access your church from home resources with a fun game, discussion guide, a prayer, and more that you and your family can still go deep into the Bible story, even from your living room. All right, I think we're almost ready to head into Anona Kids. Are you ready? Let's go! Very cool! Hello and welcome, friends! Good morning! Welcome to Anona Kids. I am so glad that you are here with us today. My name is Bonnie and I am the director of Anona Kids. And this is Anona Kids. This is the cool place where you get to come and have so much fun, experience God's great big love and learn about something called the big idea. Today we have been, well this month we've been learning about racing and all different kinds of stuff. And so I am really proud to report that I am currently the record holder for fastest lap around the playground. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. And yeah. I am David and I am the current record holder for rolling the spare tire the farthest. No. All the way across the parking lot in one shot. No way! I saw it. It was super impressive. It was very cool. I couldn't believe that it just kept Probably couldn't Rolling do it again if I tried either. No, but it was very <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, I am so excited about all the fun that we have planned for us today here in Anona Kids. We have been spending this, this month finding out more about how we can be driven by something so important in our lives. It's something that comes from our relationship with God. And I'm talking about our big idea, which is... Integrity. integrity. Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. That's what it's all about. Having integrity means that we choose to be truthful on the inside and on the outside. It is always the wise choice to live with integrity. And that's what's so important. We need to make the wise choice. Now today, we have another great story to share with you from the Bible about some people who showed integrity through some pretty tough situations. Yeah. I can't wait. But first, first, yes. it's time for a game. Oh, I'm this excited. This will be a fierce competition. That's right. <laughs> That was awesome! Excellent. <laughs> wow. We have some amazing friends here at Anona yes. Kids. They're driven. They're truthful. And they can roll a tire like you would not believe. Woof, let's give them a big hand go. again. Woo! All right. Now let's stand up and get ready to sing and worship God together. With God's help, we can always be ready to roll. No matter where we are, we can be ready to live with integrity. That's the truth. So it is time for our time of worship. We're going to sing and dance. And I know that you guys are ready to move. And I'm so excited. When we worship God, we get to sing about all the reasons why we're grateful for God, how we can live for God every day, how we can show God's love to everyone around us. So let's sing a song called Ready, Set, Move. And I want to see you moving. Let's do it. me from the start you're the one who knows my heart you are there for me jesus you are showing me the way love and kindness every day you are helping me jesus so i'll follow You've been with 
Crazy. That was so much fun. You guys are really good at moving. Now I'm so excited to share our Bible story with you for today. So every week in Anona Kids, we are learning about God's great big story and how God had a plan all along to bless the world through God's people. Every once in a while, God's people would turn away from God and it would be so hard They kept turning away from God and trying to do things their own way. It seemed like they would get a new king, a good king that would try to help them to turn towards God. But then after the good king, they would have a bad king that was leading the people to do terrible, horrible, no good things. That sounds like it would be so hard. It would be a good time and then a bad time and then a hard time and then a good time. So what they did instead, we're going to hear a story today about how God warned the people about what would happen if they kept turning away from God. God would allow God's people to be conquered and captive by the Babylonians. Now, the king of the Babylonians was a guy named King Nebuchadnezzar. Can you say Nebuchadnezzar? Nebuchadnezzar. It's a very funny name. I can't imagine having the name Nebuchadnezzar. But in our story today, we're going to see how there were some brave Israelites who stood up for what they believed in and did what was right, even though it was really, really hard. So let's check out our story today. Over and over, the kings who led God's people turned away from God. Finally, they were conquered by King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. I hereby declare you're under the rule of King Nebuchadnezzar. The Babylonians took treasure from God's temple. Our God will love these. They also captured many of God's people and marched them across 500 miles of wild desert to Babylon. There, King Nebuchadnezzar gave orders to his chief official, Ashpenaz. Oh, Ashpenaz, bring me some of the Israelites to train and serve in my palace. They must be strong, intelligent, handsome, and able to adapt to life in Babylon. Four of these young men were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Teach them our language and our literature. I must have the best and the brightest. The chosen young men were to go through three years of training and eat food from the king's own table. King Nebuchadnezzar was determined to shape everything they would think, say, and do so they could serve in his palace. The first thing the chief official did was to change their names. Name? Mishael? I'm going to call you Meshach. Meshach is really close to Mishael, so... (laughs) Next. Name. Hananiah. Shadrach. That's not even close. Next. Azaria. Abednego. Next. Daniel. Belteshazzar. Bel... Can you spell that for me? Next. The four young men faced their next challenge at mealtime. They were given the same luxurious food and drink that the king himself ate. But God made it clear to Daniel and his friends that it was wrong to eat the king's food, perhaps because it had been dedicated to the king's false gods. We appreciate the honor, but we'd like to choose our own food and drink. I'm under orders from the king. If you don't eat what you're supposed to and show up looking worse than the others, I'll pay the price for it. Just test us for 10 days. Give us nothing but vegetables and water, and then see how we measure up. Mm, you have 10 days. So for a week and a half, Daniel and his friends ate nothing but veggies and drank nothing but water. And get this, at the end of those 10 days, Daniel and the others actually looked healthier than the other men who had eaten the royal food. Huh, I wouldn't have believed it, but I'm impressed. They should call what you ate the Belteshazzar diet. 
In addition to physical health, God gave Daniel and his friends knowledge and understanding. Daniel could even understand dreams and visions. And at the end of three years, these young men were at the top of their class. King Nebuchadnezzar, I present to you the graduating class of 584 BCE. BCE? No idea. About that. Nebuchadnezzar examined the young men and found that Daniel and his friends showed more wisdom and understanding than any of the others. What lives if it is fed, but dies if you give it a drink? That would be uh, fire. <laughs> Amazing. When King Nebuchadnezzar asked Daniel and his friends for advice, he found it to be 10 times better than that of his other advisors. He gave the young men important roles and they served him for many years. That was an interesting story, and I, I'm trying to learn it. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. Okay, next week I'm going to learn Shadrach, Meshach, Meshach and, and Abednego. Abednego. Those are funny names, huh? I can't even imagine what their moms called them. But <laughs> anyway, King Nebuchadnezzar gave Daniel and his friends important jobs because they showed such wisdom and strength. And Daniel and his friends served the king for many years. When the king asked Daniel and his friends for advice, he found it to be 10 times better than that of his other advisors. Daniel and his friends did the right thing. Even when it could have been dangerous for them, it would have been easy for them to just give in and eat the king's food, even though they weren't supposed to. But instead, they showed faith in God and they chose to act with integrity. We have the same kind of challenges today, but we also know that God is there to help us. God has given us the Holy Spirit to help us live with integrity. God can give you the courage to live the way Daniel and his friends lived. Remember, do what's right wherever you are. Ooh, that is our bottom line for today. The most important thing to remember. Can you guys say it with me one more time? Do, do what's, what's right, right wherever, wherever you, you are. are. So Daniel and his friends had some big time integrity, I would say. They made a wise choice. They did what they thought was right. Even when they were in a brand new place all alone, they were in a new situation. It would have been a lot easier to just do what they were told to do, right? To do what everyone else was doing. But remember, Daniel and his friends were not really alone, were they? God was always with them. And that's why they were able to have courage in that situation. That's why they were able to do the right thing. And that's a challenge for you and me to do, that we can remember that we can do what's right wherever we are. Sometimes it's, it's not easy yeah. to do the right thing. Yeah. You might be around other kids who are doing something that you know you shouldn't. Right. Like, like maybe everyone at recess is making fun of the new kid in class. In some ways, it might seem easier to nah, just let it happen and not say anything. Hmm. But then you think about what it would feel like if you were the new kid. Mm -hmm. You'd want someone to speak up for you, right? Yeah. You can ask God to give you the strength to be a friend to the new kid and even let others know that it's not okay to say those kind of things about her. Yeah, that's the truth. And don't forget... You are never alone either. When you decide to follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit is always there with you to help you. That means God is always with you. The Holy Spirit can help you to find the courage to do what's right in any situation. You can always pray and ask God for help too, to give you the strength you need to do the right thing, right? So let's go ahead and pray and talk to God right now and ask God to help us have that kind of integrity. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this amazing story about Daniel and his friends. God, thank you for showing us how they chose to handle a really tough situation. God, give us the courage to do what's right, just like they did, wherever we are. God, I pray that we can be truthful in everything that we say and do. Show us how we can live with integrity. God, we love you so much, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. What did you think about that message? Did you learn something new? I love learning with you every week in Anona Kids about the big idea and God's great big love. I am so glad that we get to hear about God's great big story and how we can live for God every day. 
parents, now is a great time for you to click the link below to check out the Church From Home resources. You will learn more about the big idea, the memory verse, play a game, and discuss as a family more about what we learned together today. Now, let's say the benediction together. The benediction is a blessing that we say as we go out into the world to share God's great big love with everyone we meet. Let's say it together. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Now, I am so glad that you are here and that we could be together today. Don't forget, Anona Kids meets every Sunday at 9.30 a.m., and I hope that you can join us soon. Stick around for a minute to check out these announcements, and I hope you have a great week. See you next time. Love you. Bye.